the GS430, fully equipped with the advanced technology of Lexus. Presenting the world's first advanced Vehicle Dynamics Integrated Management System, or VDIM, which assists in controlling steering. VDIM gives the driver peace of mind and enhances the pleasure of driving. By means of advanced sensors and a powerful computer, VDIM constantly calculates the moment-by-moment -moment movements of the car brought about by the driver's operations. At the same time, the computer continually calculates sought-after stable automatic operation and monitors any deviation between that and the current situation. When the system determines that a deviation has occurred that will lead to unstable operation, it calculates where and what kind of control will correct it. Controls braking, engine output, and steering before a dangerous situation occurs, maintaining stable operation. In addition to throttle by wire and brake by wire, VDIM is controlled by an active steering system employing variable gear ratio steering. VDIM's Variable Gear Ratio Steering, or VGRS, is an active steering system that achieves the best possible vehicle responsiveness by adjusting the gear ratio in response to various speed ranges and driving conditions. The active steering system stabilizes the car's driving, implementing minute adjustments such as corrective steering. These are the components of VDIM. Wheel speed sensors that detect the speed of each of the four wheels of the car, a yaw rate sensor that detects the position of the car, and acceleration deceleration sensors in the back, front, left, and right. This is the accelerator position sensor that detects the amount of operation, the brake pedal stroke sensor, the steering angle sensor, the steering torque sensor, and finally, the computer that processes the data from these sensors and implements overall control. These are the ECB actuators that linearly control brake pressure on each of the wheels. This is the engine ECU, which controls engine output. The VGRS actuator, which exerts steering control. And the EPS actuator, which optimally controls steering torque. Now, let's focus on the VDIM of the GS430, steering control assist in particular, and take a look at how data is actually processed and control implemented. VDIM steering control assist is easiest to understand by braking and accelerating when only one side of the road is slippery. Ordinarily, when a car accelerates on a road that has differing degrees of slipperiness on the left and right, the car tends to move towards the slippery side of the road. The side with greater traction moves further forward than the other side. However, with VDIM, the car has straight acceleration, as though it were on a regular road. VDIM detects the vehicle's lateral movement the instant the car accelerates, and applies corrective steering in the direction opposite to that in which it is veering, thus eliminating the problem. With steering control, corrective steering by the driver is practically unnecessary. Next, let's look at braking when only one side of the road is slippery. As you can see, 
When a car brakes on a road with different slipperiness on each side, the car tends to move toward the non-slippery side. The side with greater traction experiences more effective braking power, resulting in the car veering towards the non-slippery side. However, with VDIM, the car stops without veering, as though it were on a regular road. That's because VDIM detects the position of the car the instant braking occurs and applies corrective steering in the direction opposite to that in which the vehicle is veering, thus eliminating the problem. Let's take a look at VDIM applying corrective steering. With steering control, only a minimum of corrective steering is required by the driver. In this way, stable acceleration and stopping can be carried out even in precarious situations. Next, let's take a look at oversteering control. In this situation, when accelerating out of a corner, there's less traction than what was anticipated, and the rear of the car veers outward. VDIM instantly detects with each sensor that the rear of the car is about to slide outward. The system responds to the instantaneously collected data in order to move closer to the target position, applies corrective steering, reduces engine output, and applies appropriate braking to the proper wheels so that the car doesn't spin. The system implements control by determining whether to perform these operations sequentially or simultaneously. In contrast to old brake-only systems, the VDIM of the GS430 makes smoother vehicle stabilization possible by applying optimal assisted control using both the brakes and steering. Lastly, let's take a look at understeering control. Due to an error in judgment, the driver encounters a blind spot going too fast. At a time like this, the front tires lose their grip. The driver, without thinking, turns the steering wheel inward as the car moves outward, and the tires lose their grip even more. VDIM immediately detects with each sensor that the front of the car is about to slide towards the outside. At this moment, the system suppresses engine drive power, even if the accelerator is depressed, and the appropriate amount of braking is applied to each wheel. At the same time, the active steering system optimally controls the angle of the wheels. The system then assists the steering torque so that the electric power steering turns lightly to the other side. In this way, by actively implementing steering control assist, vehicle stability can be secured and maneuverability maintained. That means the driver can safely enjoy even greater driving pleasure. <laughs>